It happens here. It's our weekly trip to cities and towns across the area. This week we head west, where one multi-million dollar robot company is helping local kids get creative. It happens here in Bedford, where two brothers' rocks mark the point where Governor John Winthrop and his lieutenant governor divided a parcel of land given to them by state lawmakers. It was the home of 1960 Heisman Trophy winner Joe Bellino, and it's the starting point of the Minuteman bike trail that runs all the way to Cambridge. So the robot's using infrared to find the dock. Inside the iRobot campus right off Route 3, it is all about creation and innovation. And then all the dirt just goes right it's here. In here. Wow. Its latest Roomba vacuum is a robotic powerhouse, but this local company is also looking beyond its latest creation to the future. The student who sits home and builds Legos all the time, they're in fifth grade. They have no idea that they could actually be prototyping and making a robot. Here in their family innovation STEM room, the robotics company is investing in kids. We all hear about the lack of students going into STEM, staying in STEM. This space is open to classrooms, kids, even employees, all to learn and create. There are disassembled robots and crafts. So this is sort of like craft projects on steroids. It is. It is. It's turning them into engineers. Root is a robot that teaches coding skills. Just down the hall, it's the iRobot Root that's bringing STEM to your kid's Christmas list. A new artistic robot your kids can control with coding, taking playtime to the next level. It's, it's a toy, but it's, it's teaching at the same time. It's not just an entertainment toy. It's making you think. It's making you problem solve. The company actually gives each employee two STEM days so they can sort of go to schools and speak, promote STEM. If you want to try their STEM room, you just go to their website and sign up. It's a really cool space and a cool way to get kids, even really young kids like mm. kindergarten, into STEM. And while they wouldn't give me a Roomba to bring to you, because I know you love the Roomba, I love they them. did give me a book, How to Build a Robot, as told by our friend Lil Roomba the Robot, so you can learn how to build your own Roomba. I think I've got a great idea for them. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a robot that is a toy for the kids, but instead of just drawing on the whiteboard, it actually goes around and cleans for you. So your kids control the Roomba cleaning your house. So like a house. robot maid. Yes, I exactly. All right, well, you just keep working on those ideas. Okay, prototype on its way. We're trying to tell a story from every community. If you have an idea, just reach out to us on Facebook or send us a tweet at Chris WBZ or at Kate Merrill.